coolest thing in the world. Kiss. 1955 Pontiac Pathfinder. Okay, so it's ring gapping day. Just wanted to show you something I do. So I'm filing the rings. So it's hard to show you one handed, but so I just use this little hand grinder. It's a ring filing machine. After you do this, check the end that you filed. So like this end here, check it with my finger for any burrs, especially on this edge that's going towards the cylinder wall. It's not so much that it could score the edge if you got a teeny tiny burr, it's the fact that it will freeze the ring. It'll stop it from spinning in the bore the way it's supposed to. And what I do to dress it, I've just got a very fine file. I just give it a couple of zing zings. And you can feel the rough edge. You give it a wipe with your thumb. And I, I spray them with a bit of I just use like a penetrating fluid lubricant. So when I'm stuffing them in and out of the cylinders, checking it, they don't have any rough that they slide in and out easier. But yeah, so that's my fun today. Gap and rings. Tedious, but you just have to go slow. File it, check, file it, check over and over so then your sheets will have a, a spec on them in your rings your pistons so here's for my piston okay so they're forged and though i'm probably not adding any power adder or nitrous this year but i will so i'm just gonna gap it what you do is you take your that's the factor so you multiply the your bore diameter by 0050 and then that's a little tight even when I multiply these pistons so they're 04 they're 4.030 and that gives me about a 21 thou end gap the rings so i'm actually taking them out to 25 26 which for me is still a little tight i've built just straight up drag nitrous motors before and i usually got the crap out of them like 30 32 but i want to run this on the street too and at lower rpm and that they huff oil so i'm doing the middle of the road thing and some people do like a top ring more gap than the second ring, but nah, I just do them the same. So these will be like 26, 25, 26. And then just keep going. But yeah, make sure you dress those edges with a little file so you get a little burr. And also it's so it doesn't get stuck inside the ring land either. If it sticks in the ring land, it won't rotate either. So you just make sure there's no rough edge after you filed it that's it more tips coming as i assemble this engine